Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you? Hello, good evening, teacher. Hey, hello, minor. Hello, good, good evening. evening, teacher. Hello, Elena. How are you? Hi, Alejandro. Good, good. Nice. Hey, Javier, how are you? Fine, teacher. Thank you. How are you? Where were you yesterday? Hello. I having a party. I was, yeah? in my, no, I was working. Okay, good. I Excellent. Was inventory. It's necessary to work, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, very yes. good. So then, um, then we have Pablo. How are you, Pablo? How are you today? Hello, good evening. Hi. Is everything okay? I'm great. Okay, good. Excellent. That is great. Okay, then we have the Nilo two coming in. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Alan. Hey, Manuel Alberto. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Hey, the other Manuel is missing today. Right. Okay. Santos also coming in. Well. Will the others show up? Okay, this is what we have for today. Okay, so then we have uh, 112. It says in this section, participants will read a survey about health and fitness, okay? Notice all questions use how, okay? Yes, yesterday we had, we were talking about with questions using how. And today we have the reading. Okay, I think that we can kind of easily see it here, right? <clears throat> okay, we have the title of this. Uh, survey is health and fitness quiz okay it's a quiz that you can you can use you now in order to to have an idea right how you are doing physically right if you have enough exercise during the during the day during the week okay so if you are doing something healthy okay for you okay in this case we have uh health and fitness quiz, how healthy and fit do you think you are? Then we have to skim the questions below, right? Like scan quickly. Then guess your health and fitness score from zero, very unhealthy, and to 55, very healthy. Okay, so then uh, you're going to check these questions and you are going to answer the questions according to your reality. For example, we say, how many meals do you eat each day? Four or five meals, small meals, three meals, one or two meals. In my case, it's three. Okay, in my case, it's three. And let me see what else. The second one says, how often, okay, how often do you eat at regular times during the day? Almost always, usually, or hardly ever. Okay, in my case again, is Okay, in the first one I said that three meals. Okay, and now 
let me see my my answer is um almost always how often do you eat at regular times okay good pablo read the number three okay number three how many servings of fruits or vegetables do you eat each day? Each day. Oh my God. Well, yes, for me it's one to four. Okay. Good. Minor read number four, please. How much junk food, junk food do you eat? Okay. How much junk food do you eat? Hey, my case is about average. Like. Okay, about average. Not average. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's my. That's my case. Oops. Wait. I move them. Okay, probably from here. Okay. So I will have to write again. Okay, good. So I said that in this one, how many was Three meals, then I had uh, almost always, then one or four, and then here set up an average. Okay, good. Then uh, Javier, number five. Okay. Mm. Uh, do you take vitam vitamins? Vitamins? Oh, vitamins. Vi vitamins. Do you take vitamins? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, sometimes. Okay. In my case is sometimes. Okay. Sometimes. Not always. No. Okay. This is you know talking about food, right, and that stuff. Now talking about your fitness. Okay, Elena, read the number six. Okay, number six. How often do you exercise or play at the sports? All right. Ooh, in this case, for me, in this moment, wow. So probably in this case, never. <laughs> okay, before, yes, but now, nothing. Okay, Luis Fuentes, number seven. Hi. Okay. Which, which best describes your exercise program? Okay. Both weight Both. training and aerobic exercise. Okay, do you do a weight training, you know, like lift weights, so you go to the gym, or only aerobics? Okay. Mm, none. <laughs> Either weight training or aerobics and, or none. Okay. Yes, this is my case too. Okay, good. How important is your fitness program to you? Well, it is very important, but, but I'm not doing it. That is very important, I believe, for me. Okay. Good. Now, uh, Alan, numbers, number nine. How about your health? No, mm -hmm. yes, now yes, Hello? yes. Now yes, ah, okay, sorry, sorry. No problem. 
your health. Number nine, which best describe you weight? Uh, weighing six pounds, three, three, three kg? Three kilograms. Three kilograms of my ideal, my ideal. ideal, ideal weight. Mm -hmm. Weighing 10 pounds for for period five four, kilograms. Four point, four point. Uh, uh, four point five kilograms of my ideal weight. Okay. More than 12 pounds, uh, 5.5 kilograms over or order my ideal weight. Ideal weight. Ideal weight. Okay, my okay. case is this one. No, no, no. More than 12 pounds over, over. I think. So. Yes, this is me. Okay, over, no under. Okay. Good. Uh, Saul, number 10. Okay. How often do you get a physical exam? Good. Once a year, every two or three years, really? What is that? Ha. What um, is a physical exam in my case? <laughs> Rarely. Once a year. Okay, very good. That's good. Hey, Danilo, number 11. How often do you sleep well? Always, usually, or sometimes, hardly ever or never. Okay, usually. Right, and that's it. Okay, now what you have to do is you have to count. You have to count your points. For example, in my case, I have three, eight, and three, 11, and three, 14, and three, 17, zero, Zero, uh, five, that's 22, right? 22, nothing, nothing, and three. That's 25. So I will be here. Okay, here, this is my, this is my spot. Your health and fitness are a little below average. Oh my God, I need to, I need to do more exercise, go to the doctor, eat less. Ah, I will eat more. <laughs> okay, forget, forget it, no diets, no doctors, no exercise now, okay? No, but it's good, right? Then you can see, for example, the, the, the results, right? You can see, for example, the, here it says from 46 to 55, excellent job, keep up the woodwork, okay? If you got 46 points or more, you are doing great. If you have only, uh, let's say, probably 30, here, okay, 31 to 45 points, good your health and fitness are above average, okay? So that means that you are doing a good job. Uh, 16, to 30, to 16 to 30, your health and fitness are a little below average. Almost in the average, but low, okay? And the last one, 15 or below, okay? Probably you can improve your health and fitness, okay? You have to be careful. Okay, questions about vocabulary from this page? I have one. Mm -hmm. And the indication, okay. scheme, scheme the question below. Oh, scheme, 
Scheme. Uh -huh. Scheme. Okay, a scheme, a scheme is a reading strategy. Okay, it's a reading strategy. For example, if you see, I only read the question and then uh, I didn't read all the, all the answers. I went to the one that I know that is me, right? So when we scheme, we don't need to read all the details. For example, when we read the newspaper, we open the newspaper and we only see the headlines. If the headline is important or attractive for us, then we read the rest. If not, we continue, okay? So that is a skimming, okay? It's a reading strategy that we do, that we look for only for the important topics uh, for us, right? Important for me. Uh, okay. That's the, it's a reading strategy, okay? Thank you very much. All right. What else? Any other word? No more? We have meals, well, the frequency adverbs, uh, fruits and vegetables, uh, how much junk food, delicious junk food, right? Hamburgers, pizza, uh, fried chicken, okay? Bananas, candies, chocolate cakes. You know? Yes, you know, a big piece of semita, right? With pupusas. So. Delicious food. Okay, so when you have, do you take vitamins? Okay, vitamins every day. And then we have, how often do you exercise? No. Okay, no new. Which best describes your exercise program? No, no new. Okay. Oh, well, within, within is dentro de, right? Then, within the limits okay when you see within within six pounds within the limit of six pounds three kilograms okay, within the limit of 10 pounds ideal weight is what you should really wait you not know, my ideal weight is like 180 and i have like 220 only 40 pounds up only okay not too much. Then how often do you get a physical exam? And how often do you sleep well? That's it. Okay, I guess that the vocabulary, it's covered, right? So if you have questions later, you can let me know. Okay, now that we have this understanding, then we can go to the next topic. That are here. This one is a slower than the other one on top. Okay, so that was the end, you know, of uh, unit one. So when we have uh, a specific topics, right, that we cover here. So we were talking about hardly ever a uh, frequency adverbs, okay, or adverb frequency, intonation, uh, for example, talking about fitness, questions with how, how much, how often, and that was it. And now we had a great time. What do you think the topic, and when you say, we had a great time, what do you think that we are going to study here? We had a great time. Now we're going to move to what? To the past. Okay, now we are going to practice with verbs in past tense, okay? For example, the regular and irregular verbs in past tense. Okay, uh, what we did last weekend, things that we did yesterday, right? And all those things. Uh, let me see, uh, Paolo, can you please read this, instru uh, this uh, objective here, please? Okay. 
the lesson objectives in the season partisan we we'll listen to a conversation about two people and the activities they did during the past weekend the past weekend okay let me share the sound hi to all welcome to section seven we had a great time in this session participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend this conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past i really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past as you listen to the conversation write down all the verbs in the past you can identify did you do anything special so what did you do last weekend meg oh i had a great time i went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on saturday that sounds like fun did you go to lucky's no we didn't we went to that new place downtown how about you did you go anywhere no i didn't go anywhere all weekend i just stayed home and studied for today's spanish test our spanish test is today i forgot all about that don't worry you always get an a okay hi to all welcome to section seven we had a great time in this session participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend this conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past i really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Okay, wait, where are you going? Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Okay, here's a conversation. Let's uh, try to identify, and you can copy in your notebook or your computer or whatever, the verbs that we see in past tense, okay? For example, in the first sentence, it's a question, okay? And then we see a verb. What is the first verb? Did. Is it present or past? Do you, do you see a verb in past tense? Present. Which one? Do. In that do. case, is a, is a auxiliary. Auxiliary in past tense, correct? Okay, so this is the past tense of do. Okay. 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 Good. Exactly. In this and in this position is acting as an auxiliary verb in past tense. Very good. Okay. In this sentence, do you see? Oh, I had a great time. Is there a past tense verb? Yes. Had. Yes. Had. Had. Okay. Had. And went. And went. Went. Okay, no. just let me, okay, here. Okay, in the first one, we have did, past tense, present, do. Okay. In the second one, we have had, in the present, had. Okay. In the next sentence, went. Went. Okay, good. In the present, Go, go, go. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay, next one. San. 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 And the present? Sin. 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 Okay. Next one. Did. Mm, yeah, okay. Did again. Uh huh. Did. Well, we have it again, but no problem. As an auxiliary verb, can do. Okay, what else? Uh, didn't. Didn't. Did in negative, uh-huh. And the next? Went. We have went again. These are the most frequent. And the present is? Yeah. Uh-huh, what else? Did. Did again, okay. Again, didn't. Again, didn't, okay. What else? Stay. Stayed. Stay. Stay. Uh -huh. Stay. Study at the study. Stay. Okay. And the next one. 
Studied. 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 Okay, good. And? Forgot. Study. Okay, uh -huh. the other one is? Forgot. Forgot. Okay. And? Forget. Forget. Right, good. What else? That, that is all. Oh, that is all, correct. Okay, no more. Okay, you see, these are like the, the most frequent, right? Very common, commonly used verbs. Did because it's, it's for negatives, for questions. It is also a principal verb, right? Uh, had is the past tense of have, went is the past tense of go, sang and sing, did do again, went and go, stayed, studied, are regular verbs, okay? That's why they have an ed at the end. And then you have forgot and forget, okay? This is, you see, for example, all the verbs that they are using in this conversation to talk about something what, that they did in the past. Okay, now let's continue listening. Oh, yes, I have to delete this and take out of this. Oh, I had a great time. Weekend, Meg. So, oh, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get pay. Hmm. Okay. Questions about vocabulary? I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish. Expressions, phrases, or something else? No? Okay, no problem then. Okay. Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay, good. Then. Okay, now we're going to use simple past questions and answers will be introduced, irregular and regular verbs. Okay, will also be taught. Now, let's pay attention to the questions because this is the practice. After this, we have the practice. In this session, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Let's talk about questions in simple past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We use auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used it? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? 
So remember, every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past for you to express past activities and experiences. Okay. in simple past, we must use did within it is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past for you to express past activities and experiences. Meg spent her weekend. She went to a karaoke bar and said... Okay. Now, after this uh, explanation, do you have any questions? No. No? Okay, so then uh, we're going to, I'm going to show you just one, well, not to show you. We're going to write. These and experiences. I think we can write here. Always with the text, right? Now, <clears throat> can you tell me a sentence in past tense? For example, well, she went, no, she went, no. Tell me one verb in past tense. She took shower. Okay, this morning. Okay, if you see this sentence is in simple past. Okay, simple past affirmative. Okay, now what is the negative of this sentence? The negative form. She didn't take a shower. That's she correct. Didn't. Yes. She. Okay, then she didn't. And then we take. the verb the verb in past tense took returns to the present form. Okay. Then she didn't take, she didn't take a shower. shower. Mm -hmm. This morning. This morning. All right. Okay, this is simple past negative. All right? And if we want to make a question, then we begin with the auxiliary verb did. Okay, she. she take a shower. Uh -huh. shower. shower this morning. This morning. This morning. Okay, did she take a shower this morning? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, did she take a shower this morning? Then we use here, question. Okay, simple past question form. Question form, that's it. The answer, yes, she did. Or negative, no, she didn't. No, she didn't. No, she didn't, okay. Okay, if you see it, uh, then we use the verb in past tense in the affirmative sentence. But in the rest of the sentences, we use the auxiliary verb, didn't take in the negative, did she take in the, in the question form. And in the short answers, we only say yes, she did or no, she didn't. Okay, then the important thing here is to remember or to use or memorize many verbs in past tense, okay? So that you are able to express uh, your ideas, okay, or your activities in the past. Okay, no problem so far? Say no problem so far. Okay, no problem up to this moment. Okay. All right, so then let's go back to the questions here. Okay, and now you're going to use, for example, the, hey, Manuel, how are you? Good. Hello, teacher. Sorry. No, it's okay. No problem. Okay, fine. Now we're practicing with the questions in past tense when you say, did you, okay? What did you do this weekend? What did you do last weekend? What did you do today? Okay. When do you use the simple past? An action that began and finished in the past. Okay, for example, what did you do this morning? Anybody can answer. What did you do this morning? Come volunteer. I, I went to the work. I went to work, okay. I went to work is action. It was in the morning and finished in the morning. Okay. Uh, now is only in your memory, okay? So then this is the past tense. We use the simple past to express things that happened in the past, even one second ago, okay? It's a recent past, okay? What did I ask? What, look at this question. What did I ask, Luis? Excuse me, uh, what did? Uh -huh. What did I ask? Luis, anybody can answer. What mm. did I ask Luis? Mm. What he did in the morning? Exactly. So you say you asked him what he did in the morning. Okay, you see now we are using the past. Probably the question was less than one minute ago. For example, what did Alejandro say? What did Alejandro say? He said what he did in the morning. Okay? So you see, you can, run, uh, you can say something that a person, acaba de decir, right, has just said. It's recent past. Okay, so this is, you know, what the idea here is to practice the, the verbs in past tense. Okay? Good, if you have no, okay. quest no questions in this moment. Okay, just let me check because there is something else here. We're gonna practice it here before and then we do some oral practice. Okay, complete this conversation.
questions and answers must be in simple past, okay? Okay, here, did you stayed, uh, stayed only or did you stay? First, second, or third? Which is the correct answer? Three. Did stay. Third. Yes. Beautiful. Why the third? Why the third and not the first? Because the, the auxiliary is in the beginning of phrase and the verb is in the present, you know, in past, in simple Correct. past. Correct. Okay. So in this one, it's in simple, it's already in past, it's past, past. Okay, mm -hmm. and that one is not possible. It's past, present. Very good. Okay, how about the second one? No, mm -hmm. uh, it's a continuation. Did you stay home on Saturday? No. Okay, this is say, no, I didn't call my friend, mm -hmm. withdraw. No, I didn't call my friend, withdraw. Or no, I didn't call. I didn't call drive. Yeah. I didn't call drive. The first. I think so. The first one. The first, the first one. one. I too. Okay. This one. Yes. Okay. I didn't call. We draw because it's past tense. How about number three? How did you spend? Spend. Did you okay, spend. Sorry. Uh -huh. the third. How, the third. How did you? How did you spend the third one? The, the third. third one. Okay. Very good. Okay. Number four. Enjoy, enjoy, didn't like the noise. I think the second one. The second one. Let's see. Had enjoyed, didn't, didn't like. like the noise. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number five. The, the first, first one. one. The, the first one. one. Okay. About number six. The third one. Oh, nine. When? Yeah, because this one, go it doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. Uh huh. Uh, and Cost. goes is in per in present for he she it. Okay. Yes. Elimination process. Number seven. YouTube. Number two. Number two. Second. The second one. The second one, correct. Did you do? Okay, good. The next. The third one. The second one. Yes, I did. It went. Spend. Yeah. Um, no. Did go spend? Did go? Mm, no. no. Did when spend it? The first one. The first one. Because uh, mm. spent is an irregular verb. Okay. No, not regular. Okay. Okay. And did. then okay. is did. Past tense went. Mm -hmm. This, but this one is doesn't exist. 
these two do not exist. Number nine. It, uh, number three. No. 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 Number two. The second one. Uh -huh. Did sing present. Okay, and the last but not least. The first one. The first one. The first one, yes. Yes, no, I didn't. Yeah, because the, the, the apostrophe here is in the wrong position. And here the apostrophe is also in the wrong position. Okay. So we have the answers. We see that this one is correct. Number nine is also correct. Number eight. Number seven, we have it. Number six. Number five. Number four. Three, two, and one. All of them are correct. Okay, submit. Okay, now we are going to, to play a little quick, a quick game, right? Uh, we're gonna use yes, no questions only and past tense, okay? The idea is, make, okay, make me say, Make me say, um, yes, I did. Okay. Can see in the chat? Okay, now think about one question each. Okay, one question or two. Okay, in yes, no question, past tense. Okay, in, in you, but it has to be a question that I have to say, yes, I did. Okay, ready? Who wants to begin? Hey, teacher. Okay. Did you eat a beans on this day? No, I didn't. Ah, teacher. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, I didn't. Okay, remember, you have to make me say yes. Okay. Teacher, uh -huh, do you do a teach English today? <laughs> very smart, very good. Uh -huh. Did you teach English today? Yes, I did. Okay, good. Uh -huh. You see, there is a question, but probably, you guys yes, I ate beans, but I can say no, I can lie. Una en la que no pueda mentir, okay? You have to make me a question, I have to say, yes, I did. Okay, good. Other question? You gave classes yesterday. Did you? Did you? you gave did you teach? Please. Did you teach uh, class? Did you teach English yesterday? Yes. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay. Uh huh. That's another one. Teacher. Teacher. Yes, Manuel Alberto. Did you drink water today? Ato <laughs> Mario. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes. You, 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 you read. You read my mind. Yeah. <laughs> or beer. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> I, I, I drink water every day, every day, every day, a lot. Okay, good. Okay. Excellent. Other question? Uh -huh. Did you watch TV last night? Uh, no, I didn't. Uh. No, I didn't. 
Okay. Okay, good. Did you take a shower yesterday? No, I did. I guess I did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did every day, every day. Yes, I did. Did you talk with your wife today? Yes, I did. Okay, that's another yes, I did. What else? Did you did you eat your breakfast today? No, I didn't. I was very busy, so I had to breakfast. Breakfast, no, only little snacks. Okay, but not a not a formal breakfast. Okay, okay. Teacher. Yes. Please. Did you did you sleep well last night? You sleep well last night. Um, yes, I did. A little, but well. I mean, five six hours, five hours. Let me say eleven. No. It's 11 to 5, 6 hours, 6 hours. Yes, okay. I sleep well. I sleep well. Yes, I did. Nightmares. What else? Nightmares? Uh, no, not yesterday. <laughs> Before, yes, but not, not last night. <laughs> okay. So I didn't have any nightmares. Okay, more questions. Did you? Did, did, you, did you brush the teeth yesterday? Oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. What else? Did you eat pupusa the last weekend? Yes, I did. I told you the other day. On weekends, yes. <laughs> yes, on weekends we have pupusas. Okay, what else? Did you ever go to the beach? Did you ever go to the beach? Uh, no, late since, oh my goodness. January, I guess, or no, last year. Yes. Almost one year that I don't go to the beach. Okay. Teacher, <laughs> did you watch Barcelona at noon? No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> okay. But but I was happy. <laughs> no, I didn't, but I was happy. Okay. Another question? One more, one more. Okay, Santos. Teacher, did, did you sleep yesterday? Yes, I did. Okay, did you sleep yesterday? Yes, I did. Okay, now, uh, before we go, okay, we're going to, now you're going to tell me one sentence each in past tense using I, okay? For example, uh, I say, I, I ran, I ran, 10 kilometers two years ago, okay? I ran two kilometers 10 years ago. Or I can say I learned, I learned uh, how to cook uh, 10 years ago, okay? But you're gonna say a sentence, but you cannot repeat, nobody can repeat the verb. For example, if I say run, nobody can use run anymore, okay? I'm going to write the verb that you use here. For example, you cannot use run, okay? And you cannot use learn, okay? Now you're gonna tell me a sentence. Okay, you're gonna tell me a sentence. A, using a different verb. One sentence each, una cada uno. And el que repita verbo, manda pupusas a la, por delivery a la casa de cada quien. Okay. Está bien, está bien. Okay, yes. Good teacher. Yes, okay, <laughs> Alejandro, good. El primero tiene ventaja, right? I yes. Cook, uh, I uh -huh. cook. Yes. Lasagna last Sunday. Perfect, okay, this cook. Yes. Okay. I, Good. I went to the supermarket in the morning. Okay, went. Uh -huh. No one. Me teacher. Me teacher. Yes. Go, go. I drank a Pilsener in my house. I drank Pilsener last week. Last week. Okay. Oh, that was nice. 
rank. Okay. Okay. I swam <laughs> last week. I swam last week. Good. I ate chicken yesterday. Very good. Eight. Next. I worked the last weekend. I worked the last weekend. Good, Javier. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I played soccer yesterday. I played soccer yesterday. Excellent. Hey, nobody wants to buy the pupusas, right? Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Next. I went for a run yesterday. Oh, very good, Santos. Went. No. Look, went, went. It's repeated. Went. Yes. <laughs> Tell me another one, Santos. You have a second chance. I watched TV yesterday. All right. That's better. I watched TV. Okay, good. Uh huh. Beatrice. Hi. Hello. Sentence in past tense. But you cannot use ran, learned, cooked, went, drank, swam, ate, worked, played, or watched. Any verb okay. but I was. <laughs> uh -huh. I, I was fit two years ago. <laughs> okay. Was. <laughs> Very good. Was. Excellent. Okay. Uh, Danilo. Okay, Beatrice, you were yes. fit. Uh -huh. Tell me a sentence. Uh, I studied yesterday, okay. the morning. Very good. Okay, Beatrice, you were fit. Okay. Yes. Two years ago. Now, look in the chat. You are. Awesome. Peter. Yes. <laughs> huh? Estaba en forma, ahora está más en forma, right? Yes. Yeah, now you are fitter. You say good. Okay, excellent. Luis, uh, who's missing? ¿Quién falta? I, I worked okay, all day. Okay, I worked. Uh, no, Javier just worked. Ah, okay. Entonces, I drive. Uh, I drive. 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 I drive. I drive. I drive. Or no, drove. 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 That's I drove. I drove all the day. Very good, draw, excellent. My pupusas. Yes, yes. <laughs> Do the queso, please. Dos <laughs> revueltas. Okay, good. Okay, you see, for example, here we have ran, learned, cooked, went, drank, swam, ate, worked, play, watched, was, studied, were fit, and that's it. So that's like 13 different verbs. Okay, so you see, and with these verbs, you can make a sentence or you can make a story if you want. Okay, uh, for example, uh, when I was 10, uh, when I was a little kid, I just, uh, I ran a lot because I play sports. I learned to run very well because I had a friend who was a coach, okay? And uh, let's say, for example, I, do, I went to, to his, uh, let's say, to his classes because he was a very nice guy. He asked me or he told me to drink a lot of water. I drank a lot of water every day. And then like that, you know, you can invent a story using the verbs from a list to put them in context. The best way to memorize verbs in English is using the verbs in context, okay? Real sentences, okay? About your work, about your daily life, okay? Well, tomorrow we're gonna have more practice about past tense. Think about the things that you did during the day because tomorrow you are going to narrate, okay? What you have done during the day. Okay, people, have a good night. 
and bye. see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay. Goodbye, bye. Bye. Tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.